The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice that we are seeing some scattered showers around. Not everybody's getting wet. As a matter of fact, you folks in Lynchburg and Southside have seen some pretty nice weather most of the day today. Now you are starting to cloud up just a little bit. And yes, we do anticipate at least a couple of showers reaching you folks in the Hill City and also in the south side eventually. But you'll notice most of the rain right now in Nevada Todd and also Rockbridge counties. And we've got some lighter showers extending really from Patrick County and points to the west into Grayson and Withcount. Counties. Again, easterly movement 15 to 25 miles per hour should push these showers out of here closer to about 10 or 11. OK, not expecting any severe weather, not really anticipating a whole lot of thunderstorms. We could have a couple of rumbles of thunder here or there, especially east where you have seen a little more sunshine and destabilized a bit more than the mountains, but nothing is anticipated to be severe. Let's talk Sunday. Sunday, don't be surprised to awaken to a few leftover clouds, seven, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. OK. But no later than lunchtime, we are mainly sunny and we're going to stay mainly sunny as we head for the rest of the afternoon until the sun goes down. And that will lead us to a fair night on uh, Sunday night. And really, even as we head into Monday, Monday will be another beautiful day to be outside. Monday looks to be another day where we're going to enjoy more sunshine than cloud cover. OK, so today, if you're an allergy sufferer, perhaps you noticed it. <laughs> I know I noticed it. I haven't been sneezing as much today. The allergies have gone down a little bit today. But here's the deal. As we dry out, have high pressure coming back in control, we start to see more sunshine, the allergens start to go back up again. So the allergies are uh, going to be, I think, a little more uh, prevalent as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as the pollen levels will indeed creep up a bit. The UV index on Sunday going to be quite high. If you're going to spend any time outside tomorrow, I know I'm going to do some yard work tomorrow. I'm going to wear the sunscreen because the sunburn time is only about 15 to 20 minutes. So again, the UV index quite high for us on Sunday. Now, as far as temperatures are concerned, it's still in the 70s in Roanoke, Lynchburg and Southside. You're in the 60s, though, where you've seen a little bit of rain. That includes uh, the Highlands and also the New River Valley. Now, you'll notice that the warmer spots in South Boston and Roanoke, you really haven't gotten wet yet. You likely will at least see some showers south side, potentially not everybody getting wet south side, but a few showers will likely move in as we head throughout the course of the evening. All right, you'll notice temperatures cooler north, warmer south, a little bit of a zonal flow happening in our atmosphere, which means if you look at a zonal flow, generally speaking, you have temperatures near average, and that's about what we're going to be seeing here for the foreseeable future. Temperatures close to normal. Temperatures in the NRV tomorrow, 76, 78 in the Highlands, Covington, Clifton Forge, a little bit cooler northbound, 81 a popular number tomorrow, in the Roanoke, Lynchburg and Southside zones. As we count down the days alongside you, we are exactly one month away from welcoming summer. That happens for us on June the 21st, just before 8 a.m. So we are about one month away from starting a new season. For tonight, any showers end. We dry out after midnight. We're mild overnight lows tonight, mainly in the 50s. Higher elevations may be in the 40s. For tomorrow, mostly sunny, less humid. Highs tomorrow, 70s and lower 80s probably looking at upper 70s to near 80 for most of us. Extended forecast. We are uh, looking at uh, a forecast that is not changing much over the next seven days. Upper 70s, lower 80s for highs, overnight lows mainly in the 50s. By the end of the seven day period, we may get a little bit closer to 60 for those lows. Sunday through Wednesday dry, a few thunder showers Thursday, Friday. Best chance to see any thunder showers late this week will be in the mountains and even then most of us will be dry. Those temperatures and those conditions are nice mm -hmm. and consistent. They are. They are. And, and, you know, oftentimes for the last, what, 12 months, yeah. <laughs> we've been talking about temperature roller coasters. For the next seven days, what you see is what you get. It's going to be near seasonable. We're going to be, for the most part, dry. Not much happening in the way of any severe weather around here. So that, my friends, is a good